we are going to be batting as a batsman who had absolutely zero fear virender sehwag himself and we are going up against india's arch rivals pakistan short and wide of course i try to hit a boundary of the first ball with viru that is a tradition almost we need 301 runs and short and wide again but he's so quick he might be the first person in history to bowl short and wide to viru and survive oh god come on man the third ball i think and i get out for a duck that was a beautiful out swinger makes me drive and the keeper does the rest we go for a duck let's see if we get to do oh we lost by 3 runs rahul dravid 97 of 92 did his best but we lost the first match now the second match is playing is being played in adelaide oval the first match was was played in lords so we are almost doing a world tour here he is bowling short to me there haven't been very now oh, there we go full delivery the first full delivery in the in both matches and the first run in both matches as well we'll get two we'll get off the mark for the match and the series and mohammad asif of course he was a magician with the ball can swing the ball a long way back foot punched and like classic sevag we pierce the offside field and get a boundary there's nothing more that symbolizes sevag than a cut or a drive through extra covers yep. this is going to be a quick run and we'll make it there we go the first time i played a shot to the on side and we'll get to once again this is of course a this is somewhat of a big ground so I think scoring boundaries is not going to come easily. Another back foot punch, another lovely back foot punch. But again, I think I'll get only two. Sevag and Tendulkar, of course. This is probably India's most iconic opening pair. Maybe Gambhir and Sevag. Yeah, but still Sachin Sevag is just iconic. Umar Gol almost beats me with pace there. Pace and bounce. now goes full and once again beats me with pace we still here though unlike the last match where i where i got out for a duck after the second or third ball that's a lovely drive a lovely drive straight that i go away for four yep it somehow reaches the boundary line which seems like it's about 3 kilometers away in 16 of 16 shot and wide again and i miss it that would never happen with the real sevag though oh my god he is beating me with pace both bowlers actually gol and asif both of them are beating me with pace but you know what too many dot balls i need a boundary here the next ball i'm going to give myself room now and try to clear point or extra cover let's see what lengthy balls good length and i think i have had enough connection that might actually go for six yep six runs that's what happens when viru faces three or four dot balls the ball goes flying out of the ground now a spinner pulled off the back foot the first ball a very risky choice but still worked though balls it short and wide but a late cut and with the third man it will get us only one field is open now full toss have i got enough connection on that i don't think so nope fast out field for sure the ball rolled away for four hafiz has bowled well oh that was so slow almost top spin on that oh shot and wide again but i tried to play it on the front foot so hel tanveer comes in Shot went for the pull top edge and four. Thankfully, I got the edge because I tried lofting that ball, and if I'd got in the middle, I'd probably been out. Again, shot this time wide, and that might run away. No, the ball just stopped all of a sudden. So only two, and this iconic opening partnership is about to bring up a hundred run partnership, and I bring up my fifty. 51 or 46 a strike rate of 110 in a ODI just viru things oh that was quick doesn't carry the fielder dived before the ball actually came to him 
If not, he would have probably caught that easily. Oh, went for the front foot pull, almost a hoik over mid wicket. Doesn't work. And we bring up the 100 run partnership in 18 overs. Pretty good. And there we go, another flick. That wasn't a straight drive, that was a flick that went straight. Look at that wagon wheel. Almost everywhere, boundaries to the offside. We've lost Sachin, first wicket gone, but another equally iconic pair is at the crease, Ganguly and Sevag. I mean, now we have Fab Four in eight international teams, but then, but back then we had Fab Five actually in just one team. Fall, and that has been squeezed away towards point for a boundary. A shot of a lot of skill, opening the face, making full use of the pace. I mean, that ball was very slow. He's bowling at 110, but still used all of the pace and got the boundary there. Asif once again beats me. He's bowling good length deliveries, but they're bouncing above my head. So I don't know what I have to do. Ooh, again beats me with pace and I don't know what shot he was trying to play there. Slower, much slower. Thankfully pitching outside leg. That's the only thing that saved me there. Two wickets gone. Dravid and Sevak. This is also an iconic pair. At one end we have fire and the other end we have ice. Oh, what was that? Falls in no man's land, but a very dumb shot. Actually, a very poor execution of a good shot, though. Well, gives, I give myself room, and he just goes full and straight. Goes for the Yorker, and almost knocks my stump over as well, because I was very late there. Thankfully, got some, some bat on it. Very little, but it saved me nonetheless. Try to go straight, try to loft that ball straight, and that's about as long as I could launch it. Short and wide, this time I get some bat on it, but it'll be only one. Dravid has scored 48 of 43. I haven't faced a lot of a lot of balls since uh, the second wicket fell. Is that overthrows? No. Our run rate is still 6. We have 8 wickets in hand. We can probably almost double this. And sure, Malik comes in. In the 35th over. Ah, once again, short, wide, cut, but not cut well enough. Now I am playing against the spin, so this is at some point going to destroy me, but. Ah, now with the spin, nicely played. That is as easy and as risk free as a shot can get. Just nudge to square leg and we'll get off strike. But I mean, I have to start scoring. Shai the Freedy is bowling his first over in the 36th over. And starts off with a quick googly. And can we come back for two? Yes, we will. Moving inch by inch closer to that 100. That was a good ball. That was a very good ball. I want to be more aggressive because there's only 14 overs left. We need to start scoring. And I'm still playing like it's the 15th over. Just looking for singles. I barely hit a boundary in a long time. Shot. This was actually proper shot. And I think that was a slider because it just skidded on almost. It was a good ball in the end. The length was short but then it just skidded on like Shane Mon's iconic sliders. Goes short again. Tried to pull that. Actually pull that in the air. Didn't work though. Wanted to launch that ball for 6. It was actually a very bad ball. But still couldn't put it away. Now again. I'm playing full deliveries on the back foot. If this was real life. I'd have probably gotten out of LBW about 5 times by now. Went for the 6 once again. For a second I thought I hit it straight to the man. I was about to... Falls in no man's land, but again, too, I'm trying to clear the boundary and I'm getting two runs. Mm, that was again a good ball. Every time they bowl a bo bad ball, the next ball is almost too good. Just 10 more runs away. Ooh, went for the slog sweep. Only 11 overs left. I have to do something here. Went for the brash slog sweep. Also, shot again. Picked. And 
hit straight to square leg. Actually not straight, but he had to move only only a little. A simple catch, absolutely no connection on that. I have been trying to play that shot three times. And all three times I've had no connection and get out for 90 and do we win this match at least? No we don't, we score 340 and still lose the game. If you want to see an incredibly close chase in cricket 19, click the video on screen. For now like, comment, subscribe and all that, it really means a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.